probably about a three pounder. Nice little bass. Right back in the water with them. Well, good morning again. So fine morning out here. It's uh, nice and bright and sunny. The fog is just lifting off the lake now. The uh, the water is dead calm. Fish are jumping all over the place. As you can see, it's their breakfast time, feeding time for them. I caught like four bass in five minutes. Uh, the biggest one being the one I showed you up close there. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice day, except for the mosquitoes are relentless right now. So. We're gonna just get some breakfast going and uh, get out there and do a little exploring around this area. Maybe go on a little chaga hunt. Uh, yeah, check out a few things. So I'm just getting set up here for uh, for breakfast, and this morning I've got uh, I've got the, my kid twig stove, and I'm gonna try something a little different with it today. Um, usually I, I you know use a uh, use sticks and stuff like that to get this thing going. But I, uh, I picked up some uh, Espit tablets, and basically what these are, each one is like a, a little solid fuel cell, and they burn for something like 10 minutes. And I want a quick breakfast, so I'm going to use an Espit tablet to get my breakfast going here, rather than going through harvesting sticks and stuff like that. I specifically wanted to try this. So let's see how this works. This is my first time, uh, there we go, my first time ever using one of these Espit tablets, or fuel cells, and there we go, I guess it takes a little bit to get them lit up, but I'm just going to warm up my chaga tea, and then, uh, and then we're going to get some oatmeal going, and like I said, then we're going to get out paddling, it's a beautiful day, so that's why I want a quick breakfast today. So today's oatmeal of the day is the apple cinnamon. And this isn't, uh, as I mentioned, your old Quaker, well, it is Quaker oats, but it's the real Quaker oats. It's not the little brown packets that you can buy. And the reason why I do that is I can really control my portions. But uh, when I make it, I make it, look at these chunks of apple. Mm. I put chunks of apple in there that are dehydrated from home. And take a look at that. And you're getting real fruit in there, you know, not to say the other stuff isn't real fruit, but I'm getting little tiny bits. This here, I'm actually getting bites of apple. So really tasty. I can control my cinnamon intake and my sugar intake with this as well. And it just makes for uh, a much better oatmeal in the morning. Guess who's finally back out on the water? Hey, beautiful day here, just leaving the camp. And today's going to be a, uh, a day of exploring. A little bit of fishing, a little bit of chaga hunting. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take a little exploration around the island from the outside. Just to see what we got. So 
as I, I paddle along here, just thought I'd give you a couple of uh, interesting facts about this area. Uh, I know there are a couple of cottages on this lake. Uh, one is owned, I believe, by the Toronto Gun Club or Hunting Club or something along that line, or at least there used to be. Uh, this area, ironically, I can't understand why a hunting club would have a, a hunt camp on a lake like this when this is part of the Nipissing Game Reserve. Uh, which means that uh, there's no hunting allowed over here. Uh, fishing, yes, but hunting, no. So maybe it's just a retreat for them. I, I have no idea. But kind of a, an ironic thing. Because it's the uh, Nipissing Game Reserve, there's usually a lot of animal sightings. I, I've seen, uh, well, this is the, the, the location where at a campsite that I'm headed towards now, we had a bear walk right through our camp and leave a pile of scat not six feet away from our door. Uh, it was kind of funny because I was camping with my dad and he got out in the morning and discovered this. And yeah, he, he, was, he wasn't too impressed. But we've seen a lot of moose up here, uh, cows, bulls, all, all kinds of them. And of course, uh, all the waterfowl that goes along with it, you know, the ducks, the geese, the, uh, the loons, and all the other birdies. But yeah, just a beautiful day. This is nice. Just a light breeze right now, thank goodness, just to keep me cool enough here in my life jacket. Because I am building up a bit of a sweat, but that's okay. We'll probably lose this shirt in a little while. This is what used to be uh, a campsite that we used to stay at years ago. These bigger rocks here on shore actually it did make up a fire pit and they've all been scattered around pretty good. And over here to the right is actually the opening to the river that flows out of here. And if I recall right, it was all log jam last time I was here. But uh, we're probably going to pull up on shore and go for a little exploration. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to mid-June uh, canoe tripping, man. Because the winds are down now, the mosquitoes are swarming, and we had to jump back in the canoe to get some uh, some relief from them. The, we were up on shore. I was going to take a walk down to show a bit more of the, uh, the river that drains this lake. And... Uh, Mosquitoes said, no, you're not going in there. You uh, you can go back in your canoe and carry on. This is our land. <laughs> wow, man, that was that was nasty. It was like, at first it was okay, and then all of a sudden it was like we walked into a cloud of them, and it was just poof. So, oh. And it was down there that I was going to go hunting for chaga, but we'll see, we'll find some. I'm on a mission to find some chaga. I'm just headed down towards the uh, the access to North Spruce Lake.
welcome to North Spruce Lake. Uh, the beaver dam that I remember from years ago is long gone. So it's very shallow and I've seen where the beaver dam used to be. But I was able to paddle right over it, which is kind of nice. <laughs> no little portage. But uh, I'm going to explore around this lake. It's a good sized lake. And I uh, always wanted to come out here and check it out. And I'm going through some like lily pads right now and all the all the minnows are jumping so it's a very healthy lake, well fed. And let's see if, uh, if I might see some wildlife here somewhere. Well, I, I can't believe I've never come back here on all my times up to this area. This lake is absolutely gorgeous. It's probably the prettiest lake of the five lake uh, system here. All the shoreline is populated with like spruce and poplar trees in some areas. Some red pines, some jack pines, all kinds of alder. Very rocky shoreline. This is wow, nice. Another nice smolly. I think this is bigger than the last boy I had. Oh yeah. Well, I could use the net, but I'm uh, I'm releasing all these guys anyways. Come on, he's up. we go. That didn't take long. Nice fish. So that bass come on the first cast. Uh, what I'm really trying to get there, I know there are a lot of monster pike in this water. And that's what I want to try and get myself. It's a nice big pike. Okay, into the weeds here. Just doing a little drifting right now. Paddled into the headwind, uh, probably three quarters of the way up the lake. And now we're just drifting back, enjoying the wind, relaxing. Another big bass. got off. There we go. He saved me taking him off. I love bass fishing.
All right, found ourselves a nice little, uh, nice little rocky point here. I thought we would stop for a little bit of lunch. Take in some of the scenery around here. It's a, like I said, it's a beautiful lake here. This is uh, all strewn with all kinds of little islands and stuff. And <laughs> what more can you say when you run into that? You know you're in for some beauty. Sky's nice and blue, some wispy clouds up there. Temperature's comfortable right now, nice breeze. That's gonna push us back to uh, South Spruce when we're ready, so. A nice little day paddle anyways uh, headed back to the uh, the campsite now and when I get there I'll do a little paddle by so you can see the uh, campsite by water so this is my island campsite in the background there you can see the uh, hammock hanging from the trees my nice sloping rock that goes into the water right ahead. And just to the right of it there is the fire pit. All right, so tonight we got dinner being cooked on the uh, on the twig stove. Broke up a bunch of uh, twigs for this, and uh, I'm having shepherd's pie that I dehydrated at home. So we're gonna get that uh, cooking up. See, we got a nice flame going here, and uh, see how long it takes to cook up some dinner tonight. <sighs> Shepherd's pie is done. Just gonna relax here and uh, enjoy the scenery and have dinner. Molly too. So the shepherd's pie, basically I dehydrated all kinds of stuff. I had gravel or <laughs> ground beef in there, uh, peas, carrots, corn, onions, peppers. And then of course I had instant uh, potatoes. This time I used cheddar and bro or cheddar and bacon potatoes, and it's really tasty. So, here yeah. A little look here. That's basically what we end up with. Oops. But yeah. And so good, bon appetit. Ooh, hot. Mm. Molly, I fur. Mm. Very good. Very good. I'm starting to like this dehydrated stuff, but nothing like that steak I had last night.
Wow, what a day. Just to recap things, you know, woke up this morning, it was beautiful, had the, uh, the fog on the water, which was really nice to, uh, to see. And after that, the skies blewed up and had a, had a good meal or a good breakfast there and got ourselves all set and ready, ready to get out and do a little exploring. And we checked out uh, South Spruce Lake here a little bit. And then we proceeded to uh, check out down where the waterfalls, or not the waterfalls, but the, the lake drains out into uh, Poplar. And then we uh, continued on, went down to uh, North Spruce Lake. There, absolutely gorgeous lake. I can't understand why I'd, uh, I've never been up there. Well, I just barely touched on that lake, but it's... Uh, the, the, vi the video does it no justice. It's absolutely gorgeous there. And of course, uh, with the, the nice days and the calmer days come the mosquitoes. Poor Molly got uh, eaten alive. And she's just getting a little respite right now. Uh, I'm surprised the mosquitoes aren't out full force right now. But uh, that's okay because we're just going to try and uh, take in. See if we can uh, take in a little nightfall here actually to, to see the stars and stuff. I uh, was up last night to uh, do a little pee break and uh, there were a billion stars. Seen a shooting star, seen a couple satellites crossing the sky. And that was only in a short couple of minutes. But uh, let's see, seeing as this is our last night here, let's see if we could stay up a little later and uh, enjoy this. I got a lot of firewood here cut up. Uh, if we don't use it all, that's fine. We can leave it for the next people. But uh, all in all, this has been a great little campsite. Um, you know, I cleaned it up quite a bit. Uh, it was a bit of a disaster when we got here, but uh, it was—it's nice to—it's nice to always go out and leave a campsite better than you actually find it. Uh, that's kind of been one of my mantras or one of my rules there is to to always find a campsite and leave it in better shape. Uh, the one good thing about this site is it's not strewn with gar or garbage or trash or anything like that. I did see some cans and uh, bottles that were buried, but they're really old and they're all rusted and stuff, and that was back in a bit. But uh, they're fine because the earth has taken them over there. They're all covered in uh, moss and, you know, plant debris and stuff like that. So, But with that being said, i uh, just going to chill here for a bit, and uh, if I see anything else interesting, I'll, I'll be sure to capture it for you. But if not, we'll catch you guys in the morning. Day four, the day we leave. Well, good morning. Here we are, day four. This is the day we're going to leave. And look at the conditions here. It's beautiful out again. We're going to get ourselves all packed up here and uh, get a quick breakfast. And then we're going to start the trek back home.
right, let's get this paddle started. So, mosquitoes and black flies. It's warm now, it's really, really warm. And mosquitoes and black flies have come out in full force. Poor Molly's getting eaten alive. I have some uh, dog insect repellent. She doesn't like it when I put it on her. It's like a deep free, I think it's got like tea tree oil and stuff like that. We bought it from, uh, from the pet store. And it seems to be kind of effective, but you can only use it twice a day and only lasts for about two hours. But uh, when the bugs are relentless and not letting up the whole time, it's only gonna last for so long, right? But uh, yeah, so we just pushed off here. You can see the camp uh, campsite in behind me there. And we're gonna head off to our first portage, which is gonna take us back into Poplar Lake. And then once we're on Poplar, we're gonna have Poplar, Poplar River, and Bear Lake until our next portage back into Tilden. So, here we go, here we go. that portage is behind us. We, uh, you might see some of the mosquitoes flying around here in the boat, or in the canoe. We swarmed, man, just swarmed. It was horrible. Thank goodness for, uh, for bug nets, or head nets there. But uh, poor Molly's still covered in them. Hey, hey girl, let's get the mosquitoes off you, eh? Say, Dad, those things are really bugging me, Dad. Uh, need to get out into the wind here, maybe. Maybe that'll uh, knock them down. But now we're on uh, Poplar Lake. And I'm uh, gonna be heading now towards the uh, Poplar River. All right. Can you say fun wow? I had to go back to that portage. Because my spot I lost my spot device. Good thing I noticed that we weren't too far down the lake. Sorry if you're out of... Yeah. So, good thing I didn't notice it when I was too, too far down the lake. I just wanted to make sure my tracking was on. I started looking for it in a frantic search. And uh, when I was pulling the canoe into the water, there was a little ledge dropped off there. And it must have fallen off my backpack because I had it sitting right on top. So I'm glad I found it because that would have been a couple hundred bucks down the tank. And now let's try this again. We're on Poplar Lake once again. Let's take this off. And uh, whew, lots of fun, eh? Poplar River is just so peaceful. It's, it's like every corner you come around, it's a new beautiful scenery. Birds are chirping away. Welcome back to Bear Lake. I just missed getting a shot back here that was so cool on the river. I was passing by this uh, rock that was sticking out of the water and it looked on top of, like almost like there was a tortoise or something on top, but it was the same color as, as the rock. So I, I just dismissed it as like the rock, right? I just seen the biggest snapping turtle in my life. He got up and he jumped into the water with a big plunk. 
And uh, wow, I wish I'd have got, I got, I got to be quicker with the camera sometimes, you know, just to, to get these shots because that was, wow, he had to be like that. It, he was big. He was big. Uh, yeah. I don't know what that would weigh for a snapping turtle, but he was a big, big fella. But like I say, we're back here on Bear Lake, uh, heading back towards uh, where all the boats are left. And that'll be our portage into Tilden Lake. And got a slight, slight headwind right now. Nothing, nothing drastic. But uh, I've been trying to drink a lot of water. I feel like I'm becoming very dry. The sun is pretty intense, clear blue skies. So it is what it is, but uh, let's get ourselves to the boat launch here or the portage. Portage behind us, back at uh, Tilden Rapids or Tilden Falls. You can see that behind me here. And now we're headed back to the truck at the boat launch. Getting a bit of a headwind now, starting to pick up. Of course, just when uh, I'm feeling my most exhausted. Was gonna stop for lunch, but just wanna get her back. I'll make a trip to Wendy's on the way back in North Bay. Nice burger and a frosty. Mm. See you back at the lunch. Well, we're finally back at the uh, put in. And uh, I have to say, it was a delightful trip. Now we just gotta unload, load up the truck, and hit the highway, and like I say, off to Wendy's for a Frosty and a, that might even be a double or a triple burger. <laughs> oh yeah, what a paddle back. Right, guys so hopefully you uh, you enjoyed this uh, journey that I took here this uh, four-day solo canoe trip um, up here Tilden Lake to North Spruce Lake this is an area like I say I've been very familiar with and it really brought back some memories to uh, to get up here and do some paddling and checking out the area a uh, little bit's changed but not much has changed if you know what I mean anyways if you haven't already done so please hit that subscribe button and maybe ring the bell notification and Please leave me a comment down below so I know what you uh, thought of the video. Good or bad, hopefully all good. Uh, I, I like all comments and I will try to get back to all of them. Anyways, this is Dennis and Canoe Hunt Adventures saying remember people, keep the adventures alive.